Hi, Stampin' with Charlene friends. It is Tuesday night, December 22nd. And tonight we are going to work on a project that is going to be perfect for the new year. We're going to make a perpetual birthday calendar. Now I know I for one have been very slow and apprehensive to embrace technology when it comes to planning. I am so used to writing everything down in a notebook and a calendar and I just can't seem to grasp uh, losing control of that and putting it all on my phone in digital format. So if you're like me, you like to have cute little things like this where you can write down everyone's birthday. So this is very, very easy to make. Perpetual birthday calendar. It has four different cards inside and you can put three months on each card and then there's three sections on each card so you can list the birthdays or anniversaries or special occasions by months and there's also these cute little tabs at the top and it's just very cute easy to tuck away and it's a premiere of items that are available in the upcoming celebration brochure the designer series paper and the stamp set that I'm using tonight, you can earn for free with an order of $100 or more beginning January 5th. So from January 5th until the end of February, if you place an order of $100 before tax and shipping, you can select to receive these items for free. So let's get started with tonight's project. Really easy and really fun. Here's a closer look at the perpetual birthday calendar. It is a folder and you just open it up and these are the tabbed inserts. So they actually store like this, but you will hold them like this and then write your January, February, March and all your birthdays and then continue that throughout the year. So this stamp set and this beautiful designer series paper is part of Celebration. This is the stamp set and this is the designer series paper. I'm going to show you all of the different patterns that are available. It is called uh, Berry Blessings is the name of the stamp set and Berry Delightful Designer Series Paper. So between January 5th and the end of February, let me just check the date here, um, February 28th. If you place an order, a one-time order of $100 or more before tax and shipping, this is one of the items that you can choose from the Celebration brochure. There are other items that you can choose at the $50 uh, sale increment, but I just love this one. I love how it all coordinates and it's perfect for tonight's project. But let's look at the patterns. These are the fruit patterns that are part of the Berry Delightful Designer Series paper, and just look at the luscious colors. I mean, I know it's not even Christmas yet when I when this video airs, but a perpetual birthday calendar is something you're gonna use all year long, and I think that these different fruits uh, are, are the perfect choice for this project. So then let's turn it over and look at how Yummy, all of these color combinations are. You can make so many things. I mean, this just screams summertime to me. Uh, picnic, 4th of July. This can bring you into fall, and this is perfect for summer. This is what we're using today. And when I planned this out, I thought this would be something that I would wanna keep uh, maybe in my kitchen or um, just on my desk. And I just absolutely love the color combinations that I used. Granny Apple Green for the base, and this is Daffodil Delight, and then I used some of our Real Red Ribbon. This is from the mini catalog that's retiring. So if there's still some left, you can get this at a reduced price right now. I also like the Sentiment Bountiful Blessings. I thought that was a good reminder of all of our friends because they are all blessings to us. And then on the inside, I use Poppy Parade, Daffodil Delight, Flirty Flamingo, Pear Pizzazz, and the same thing over here. Daffodil Delight, Flirty Flamingo, Pear Pizzazz, and Poppy Parade. So let's get started with all of the measurements. 
You wanna take your paper trimmer and you are going to, for this project, use a piece of 12 by 12 cardstock. So I'm using the Granny Apple Green 12 by 12 and you just want to score this at six inches and then flip it on the side and score it at three and a half inches. And that's how we make the pocket folder. So let's fold it at the six inch mark, six, six inch score line, and then we're gonna fold it up at the three and a half inch score line. And that's how easy it is to make the folder. Can you believe that? Now to secure it, you wanna take your tear and tape adhesive and on this inside part here on both sides, let's just put some tear and tape adhesive on this three and a half inch piece. And get it as close to the edge as possible so your cards fit on the inside. So just on each side like that, we will put our tear and tape adhesive. Okay, so this is the part that you're gonna fold up. Tear and tape adhesive goes on either side. I'm just gonna use my take your pick tool to lift up the tape to expose the double side sticky. And then we're gonna just fold this over and line it up and it might bow in the middle a little bit, but that's okay because we just wanna make sure that it matches up on the end. So see how it bows a little bit, but then when we press that down and fold it, it comes out perfectly fine. And now you can take whatever designs of the designer series paper that you want to, to decorate the front. So I chose this one with the strawberries and then this has the strawberry seeds on it. And I'm just going to adhere this down. So this piece measures five and three quarters across and five and a half inches down. And I'll just put some adhesive on there. This, once you get this going, you can, you can make so many, you can actually make your whole package of uh, 12 by 12 cardstock and designer series paper. You can use it and make one. Uh, you can make them for gifts. You can make them for other things. You don't have to use it as a perpetual birthday calendar. You can just make it as a little organizing folder for all different kinds of things. Important addresses that you have. Um, and like I said, I have, it's been a difficult road for me to give up the, the actual uh, planner situation. I like planners and I like writing everything down, penciling it in, but the world is moving away from that. So it's, it's kind of difficult to do. Um, okay, so the next thing for the center is I'm just gonna take a piece of Daffodil Delight. This is one inch by five and three quarter inches. And this is a piece of the red ribbon from the current mini catalog. And it's 24 inches long. And I'm just gonna tie this, before I adhere the piece, I'm gonna just tie this in a bow on the side of this. And then I'll go ahead and adhere it. Um, but I wanna make the bow just right over here on the side. This is just gonna make it just a lovely cover for our folder. So 24 inches, I cut mine a little long. I kind of made a, a little oops, but that's okay. You only need 24 inches. And there's my bow. Make it as big or as short as you wanna make it. And then I will just trim this long piece off later, but then go ahead and put your adhesive on the back. You can use tear and tape or you can just use the regular multi-purpose glue. And then you wanna just put this, I put it about three quarters of the way down on the card, or on the front of the cover, I should say. I'm so used to making cards um, like that so that we can set this aside to dry. We're gonna do all of our stamping at one time, but let's just get everything ready to go on the inside. 
So for the cards on the inside, I just took four pieces of coordinating colors. I have my pear pizzazz, flirty flamingo, poppy parade, and daffodil delight. And this is what I'm going to use for the inserts. What I also did was in the same colors, I took my two inch circle punch and I punched out a circle in each of the colors with the two inch circle punch. Then let's go back here and take our paper trimmer. And since each circle is two inches, we can place this on our paper trimmer in between the one inch mark that's on the right hand side and the one inch mark that's on the left hand side and take our scoring blade and we can score this halfway down. That way we'll have, when we go to fold it, we will have a nice crisp fold to our circle because this is what we're going to use as the tab for the top of the card. So I'm gonna do this on all of my circles. Just go ahead, put it in between both one inch marks and give it a nice score and then fold it along the score line. And I'm gonna do that on all four of them. And when you go ahead and do the next part where you're gonna attach these to the top of each card, it doesn't matter which one goes with which. If you want them to match, you can have it match up. But I just randomly um, put mine, uh, put different colors on them. And what I did was I made sure that I put adhesive over the entire inside of the circle. And then I took the circle folded it in half and I just, I lined up the end with the end of this piece of paper and then I just stuck it down like that. So you make a tab out of it that sticks above your cardstock, just like that. So go ahead and do that on all four of the pieces. I just wanna point out that I'm putting two of the circles on the left hand side and then on the other two pieces, I'm putting two of the circles on the right-hand side. So it's kind of like a filing system. When you open up your folder, you will be able to see what is on each card. You won't have one right on top of the other. So I'll put these two on the right-hand side. And you wanna give that a second for the adhesive to dry. Aren't these colors great though? Just so cheerful, which is how we wanna feel when we're sending birthday cards to our friends, right? It's a happy occasion and we all need happy occasions. Okay. So now we're finished almost with our card inserts. The next thing we wanna do is work on the lined paper that is going to go on each of the cards. So you're gonna use Whisper White cardstock for this and you wanna cut 12 pieces that measure four and three quarters by two and three eighths. And you need 12 of them, three on each card. So after you cut out your 12 pieces of four and three quarter by two and three eighths, Go ahead and start from the bottom and adhere them on each of the cards. So it's going to be like this, but I only want you to put two on each for right now. So you should have four left over. So this has two, 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 and two. And now you'll have four pieces left over. Now position the four remaining pieces that you have this direction and take Poppy Parade and the strawberry stamp and just stamp the strawberry at the bottom of each piece. And then take the, take your Granny Apple green ink and the stem and stamp the stem on top of each strawberry, just to give it a cute little pop of decoration. Just like that. And when you're done with that, since we have our ink out, we're gonna take 
a small piece of Whisper White and we will use our Granny Apple Green ink and stamp the Bountiful Blessing stamp on there and we're all done with our stamping and now we can adhere all of our stamped pieces. So we'll just adhere the Bountiful Blessings to a piece of Flirty Flamingo and then we'll take our cards and we will adhere, we've already adhered two pieces to the card, so now we will adhere the final piece just like that to the top. So we'll do that with all four of our little strawberry cards. I mean, does it get any easier than that? So, you can adhere this piece to the front, the Bountiful Blessings. You can adhere that with your multi-purpose glue or with tear and tape adhesive, or you can use dimensionals. I'm just gonna put it down there with my multi-purpose liquid glue. And then you can just take a pen and Let's start with this one and we'll just write Jan, Feb, March. And then we'll take one where the tab is to the right and we will write April, May, June. And then we will just put this on the left side like that. And then we'll take the one that's on the right side and we'll do July, Aug, Sept. And then finally we will do Oct, Nov, DEC. And there you go. So if you want, you can also write, you know, when you take the card out, you can write January, February, March, and then do that for all of them. And then just write your birthdays. And I'll just start here. On the third is my daughter. And on the sixth, it's me. Oh, and on the 16th, it's my husband. So yes, we are slammed with birthdays right after Christmas. Um, but there you have it. So I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you make a bunch of them. And leave in the comments if you like this, give this a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate all of that. Have a great holiday week, guys. I really enjoyed creating this for you. Every year I make a New Year's resolution that I'm going to send a birthday card to everyone. Do you do the same thing? And then, you know, I don't usually follow through and I'm embarrassed to say that, especially as a greeting card designer. But with this cute little perpetual birthday calendar, that should solve all of our problems. And we should all be able to accept the challenge of sending a birthday card. So I want you to also make sure you tune in next Tuesday night where I will be explaining a new program that you guys can participate in. And I want you to all please have a safe and happy new year. I will see you one more time before then. But in the meantime, have a great holiday week and I will see you next week.